Hello everyone, welcome to DC Minds. In this video, we will learn about another C11 concept called R value reference. So, before understanding R value reference, let's see what is R value and L value means. So, here we have a expression like this. First, we are creating a variable A and then we are assigning a value 5 to this. So, when you, when you do this, for this A, a memory will be allocated. Some memory will be allocated in the program memory and A will point to that memory. And when you say A equal to 5, for this 5 also, a uh, memory will be allocated. That will be temporary memory and it will get stored in that temporary location. So, five for 5 also, one memory will be created and it will store that value, this 5 into that memory location but it is temporary you cannot identify that location by some name okay so and now when a equal to 5 means it will assign the value in that temporary location to this memory location so value of a will be 5 because we are saying assign that temporary location value to this a so now a will become 5 so in this case, A is L value and 5 is R value. So L value means some memory location that can be identified by a name and R value means some temporary storage that you cannot identify by some name. So in later point in time, whenever you want to use this A, you can use in later point in time. But 5 for the memory will allocated for this 5 you cannot use later because there is no uh, name to identify that temporary location okay so now let's see one more example in this case sum is this sum for this sum 3 plus 7 one again one temporary storage will be created and then it will get copy to this sum variable so here this sum is L value and 3 plus 4 is R value because it will be stored in some temporary location that you cannot identify by some name. Okay. So this is what R value and L value means. Okay. Now let's see what is reference. So reference is nothing but a an alias to a L value. So it is it will point to an already existing memory location or variable so in this case what we are doing is we are creating a reference variable called b that will point to a so here we have memory for a and now this b will point to this memory so here both a and b will point to this memory and the content of a is 5 as of now so now using this b you can change the content of this memory location also so when you say b equal to 10 at that time what will happen this a value will now change to 10 because b is also a alias of this a so b and a both pointing to the same memory location now if you try creating an alias or reference variable using r value in this case it will give you compiler error because you can only create a reference variable from the l value using l value you cannot create reference variable using r value okay so now let's see what exactly this r value reference means so r value reference means you can point to the r value basically you can create a reference to a r value or the temporary storage okay so in this case what will happen a will now point to the temporary storage that will be created for this 5 so that is it is a reference to that r value so for this 5 one temporary storage will be created and now this because of this r value reference and this r value reference is denoted by double and percent so what will happen a will point to that temporary location okay so r value means you can point to the temporary 
memory that is getting allocated for the R value. Okay. So similarly in this case, this sum will be R value reference to a temporary storage that will be allocated for this 3 plus 7. So if you see this situation in this case, what is happening? One extra memory was getting allocated. First for A also one memory is getting allocated and this for 5 also it is then one another memory was getting allocated and then this uh, value is getting assigned to this A. So but in case you if you use the R value reference what will happen? This A will directly point to the temporary location. There will be no extra memory. Okay. So this is the use case of uh, basically benefits of using R value reference. So this is just an introduction of R value reference. In next video, we will see many more use case of R value reference. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my